must find the different features for each of these structure systems. As the structure of the nervous system, the nervous system uses nerves in order to send electrical impulses towards the brain. Whilst for the endocrine system, the structure is glands containing secretory cells. The, uh, the nervous system's form of information is electrical impulses, whilst for the endocrine system, it uses hormones. The nervous system uses the pathways along neurons, whilst the endocrine system uses the blood in order to transport the hormones around the body to different vital organs. The nervous system is considered to be faster in terms of the speed of the information, whilst the endocrine system is considered to be slower, as it does use the blood, and electrical signals appear to be faster than the flow of blood. Now, the duration of effects, the nervous system is short-lived. For example, the muscle contracts for a short time, as in, a flame is there, my hand is there, and it contracts immediately, as the heat makes the nerves react. Whilst the endocrine system, the duration of effects is usually slow and longer-lasting. Some are rapid, for example, the response to adrenaline. The nervous system's target area is usually localized, only the area immediately at the end of a neuron. Whilst the endocrine system, the whole tissue or organ is completely affected. Some hormones, in fact, affect the whole body. In terms of response, the nervous system muscle contract uses muscle, muscle contraction or secretion by glands. Whilst the endocrine system, there are many responses. For example, the conversion of glucose to glycogen, protein synthesis, and, re and rate of respiration. Now, as experts have said, the en a hormone is a chemical produced by an endocrine gland and is transported in the blood. Endocrine means that the gland produces hormones that are secreted into the blood system rather than into a duct. Hormones travel throughout the body, but only certain organs or tissues recognize each hormone and, res and respond to it. These are referred to as target organs. Hormones coordinate the activities of the body, but in a different way to the nervous system. Hormones can affect the rate of a metabolism, growth, and development. After they have performed their function, they are broken down by the liver. These, this is how hormones work. Situations when adrenaline might be released. There's no place to be. tonight to interview two stunningly beautiful young students from BSM on the topic of hormones in adrenaline. Thanks, Josh! Do you remember learning about this in Ms. Fernandez's class? Oh yeah! She said something like, hormones are chemical substances that help regulate processes in the body. Do you remember how they're transported again? Um, hormones are secreted by glands and travel to their target organs in the bloodstream. Several hormones are involved in the female menstrual cycle. So, Morel, do you remember any facts Ms. Fernandez told us about adrenaline? I think adrenaline targets the organ, the vital organs like the liver and the heart, and it prepares the body for action, for like fight or flight. And then we have palpitations, we start to sweat, increased blood pressure. You know, we yeah, get really, yeah, we get really, really nervous. So, do you know how it's Thank you for watching our documentary on hormones focusing on adrenaline. <laughs>